Continuing, uh, apparently today's theme of defensive interior pass rush, Justin Matabuke from Texas A&M. Come on and gig him. And also, apparently the Vikings had uh, some video chat with him. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Yeah, invest in Zoom, by the way. If, if you can, I don't even know if they're publicly traded, but uh, let's talk about the man from AM today. Uh, so, background on Matt Abuke 6'3, 293 pound redshirt junior, a former four star recruit from McKinney, Texas, uh, which is a northern suburb of Dallas, and big in recruitment, really got hammered in it. Notre Dame, USC, the U. Texas, Houston, Nebraska, UCLA, Auburn, Michigan, uh, all the big schools were in him, but he decided to take his talents uh, three hours south and went to the farm, Texas A&M, class of 2016. Uh, Richard, his freshman year, uh, started working his way in as a rotational guy, uh, Richard freshman year, but real breakout came in 2018 as a Richard sophomore, 40 tackles, 10 half tackles for loss, five and a half sacks, three forced fumbles, partridge and pear tree, uh, 44 pressures and an 84.2 PFF grade. So he was certainly on the draft radar, built upon that in 2019, Richard junior year, uh, 45 tackles, 11 and a half tackles for loss, five and a half sacks, 41 pressures, 85.7 PFF grade, uh, as well as second team, all SEC, uh, capping off a really nice collegiate career. I decided to declare for the draft combine. I mean, great 40 for defensive tackle, uh, 4.83 seconds, decent three cone. Uh, bench, uh, especially at his size, extremely solid, 31 reps, 84th percentile. Uh, thing that sticks out the most uh, on his spider chart, small hands, smell like cabbage. But although I will say that hand size is less important for defensive tier than uh, out on the edge, but, you know, I mean, nine-inch hands, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, and also, if you watch him, right away 52 will we'll stand out what will stand out is the energy that he plays with and you know the term high motor gets thrown around a lot i, I use on jordan elliott uh, earlier but yeah uh plays with a fun contagious energy and it's very everson griffinish it's very jared allenish and i i think that he if he became a viking would quickly uh become a, a big fan favorite a bit bit streaky but also metabuke has the ability just to completely take over games and, and wreck fools which is great i mean a little bit inconsistent you never really know which one is going to show up but it, that does really remind me of sharif floyd because there, there was stretches where floyd would absolutely be missing mia gone in action right and then there were some games where i mean cut him coming from the three tech spot that first step was just so quick so devastating and, and he would shut down drives he would take over games i think matabuke has a little bit of that in him as well uh gets low stays low has that country strength which is amazing uh, quickness is going to be uh, a plus in the nfl as well uh, solid against the run uh, just by being you know slightly undersized, uh, but also just gets after it in the pass rush game, uh, as evidenced by the 11 sacks the past two years at AM. Uh, but also, I mean, a, a lot like a lot of college guys coming in, I'm um, just getting by on physical traits, a lot of room for refinement. Uh, that's hello, Andre Patterson. Hello, hello. Uh, and a lot like Jordan Elliott, who we talked about earlier, scheme diverse, uh, could basically play every position on a 4 3 or a 3 4, uh, except for nose tackle. Uh, it probably best served. Yeah, if the Vikings do stick with the traditional 4-3, which, I mean, e even if they do uh, throw in some 3-4 elements, I, I don't see a complete swap over um, uh, in one year. I, th I think it will be a, a very scheme-diverse um, uh, defense this year. So I, I think his more natural position is that 4-3, one-gapping 3-tech. Uh, and Medabuke probably is going to be in the second-round mix. Uh, I think he's firmly behind. Oh, well, obviously, Derek Brown's probably going to be a top-five pick, if not minimum top-10 probably top five I think Kinlaw is going to be in the top 15 to 20 range and I think Elliott will be in the back end of the first round so uh, Matabuke could be there at 58 may take a, a little move up in the second round but uh, overall this isn't this isn't necessarily a, a great you know right home uh defensive interior uh class but uh there are some real gems in there and I think Elliott is one I think Matabuke is, is honestly one as well it, it is great to see that the Vikings are sh showing some interest so you get Matabuke you got um, you got Armand Watts in the mix. You got Michael Pierce. And also, you got the rest of the defensive uh, interior slappies. Let's go. Yeah, let's go wreck some fools this year. Let's go do that up. Uh, but your thoughts? Uh, uh, Justin Matabuke from Texas A&M. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. If you want to support the work, pull us up in the Venmo. Please give us a follow on social media as well. But until next time, Skull Production Value. <laughs>